Social Me is a WordPress solution based on most popular and time-tested plugin BuddyPress and LearnPress. This video will be about MediaPress. MediaPress is basically a plugin to control all the medias that will be used in Social Me. First, I will log in as admin in your Social Me and then I will move to my dashboard. In that, I will click on MediaPress and, and that I will go to the settings. Here you will find different options. The first one is component setting where you can enable galleries for the user. The second is privacy setting where you can set your privacy from public to private. The third is media size setting where you can set the crop size. The fourth is media type setting where you can add the extension for your medias. The fifth is storage setting for setting the max upload size. And the last is media add upload setting to control your media behavior. Now, if you click on sidewide galleries, then you will find the general settings where you can enable gallery archives. And then we have the other option that is type setting where you can enable what medias that you want a user to upload. The third option is the sidewide gallery default view where you can choose the grid layout or the list view as per your references. And then you just click on save changes. Now, if you click on BuddyPress Media Setting, the first option that you will get is Directory Setting, where you can give the permission to enable your gallery directory or not. Then we have the Activity Settings option, where if you go to the inner pages, like for profile pages, you can enable that if you can view the gallery or not. And the third is the Activity Media List View, where you can select the grid layout or the list view for however you want your photos, videos, and medias to be seen. And the last option that you get is a miscellaneous setting, which basically means that you can schedule your post and it's by default set so you don't have to change anything in here. Now, if you click on members gallery, then the first option that you see is a type setting where you can check or uncheck all the medias that you want to enable. The second option is member the gallery default view where you can select the grid layout or the list view for your medias. Now, if you go to the group galleries, then you will again find this type setting option where you can enable your media type or select whatever you want. The second option you will get is the default view where you can select the grid layout or the list view according to your theme. And the last is the group setting where if you go to the inner pages of the group, then you can enable if the gallery should be seen or not. Now, if you click on theming, then the first option that you get is a display setting where you can select how many numbers of galleries or the medias that you want to display in a single page. Then we have the audio video specific setting where you can enable or disable your audio video playlist. Then we also have the basic settings for the comments. And then we have the light box where if you click on any of the pictures in your social feed, then it will pop up on your screen. So now let me take an example. I will use the sidewide gallery. Now if you go to our activity field, you can see this option for media like photos, videos, audios and document. I will just click on photos and here you can see three options like drag and drop your file or you can select your file or you can also provide a link. Now I will click on select file and I will select a random image from my device and then I will click on post. Now you can see that my image has been uploaded. And these are the options that you can customize in media press setting in our social week. Get started with social week today and start leveraging the power of your knowledge and community.